She lost two pregnancies, and doctors told her the road leading to her home could be blamed. Elsie lives in the Accra suburb of Amrahia, and one stretch of road connecting the area to the adjoining community of Katamanso has become a daily nightmare. It's a dirty, undulating, and bumpy road, and residents say requests on the authorities to deal with the spectacle have been ignored. Joy News editor Fifi Kumsen was in the community and has come through with this report. Amrahia and Malijo are two beautiful, fast-growing communities. But throughout this area, there is anger, deep-seated anger. And this is why a dusty patch of dead road, bumpy and undulating, has been at the center of the discomfort of residents. I have been here for about four years now and we suffer. Elsie Boachi lives here with her husband. In the last two years, Elsie has lost two pregnancies. Elsie's pregnancies have always been high risk. Her doctors advised her to avoid the road. Because of this road, in fact, I've had two miscarriages because of the road. So this one, I had to stay in the hospital throughout till I gave birth. Because the way it bumps and everything, you know, it wasn't good for me, so I had to stay there. The doctors told you that it was because of the road yes. that... Because it bumps. You'll be bumping, bumping, bumping all the way to the junction, you see. So it wasn't really good for someone like me. But there is another deadly angle to the story. The poor nature of the road means drivers have to slow down all the time, literally crawl. And that's an advantage for armed robbers who attack moving vehicles at night. It's very dangerous after seven. Armed robbers are on it. So if you are driving on it and you don't go high speed, you are in trouble. Secondly, the ramps on it are many. So, and the road is very bad. So Santa, when you are attacked on the road, you always get in trouble. In this cluster of estates with about 3,000 homes, residents, mostly middle class, want the Amrahia Katamansu Road fixed. This resident describes the moment he nearly ran into a robbery attack. I don't think anybody would have been able to even, any um, emergency service would have been able to get there on time to um, help them out. Um, it's been pretty bad. I mean, even for some who work very late at night and come home late at night, I mean, it's very, very bad to ply these roads. No light. Inside the community of Malijo, about five kilometers from Amrahia, the situation is not any different. This is a community of very worried people. People worried about the state of the road leading to their homes. We can all live in the East Legons and the, 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 the Trasacos and the Cantonments. So we find ourselves in these areas and our conditions here are so deplorable. Key of these issues is this main road. This road is about 3.9 kilometers actually. It's a very short portion of the road, but it's so bad. It's a big problem, they say. Like almost every week, somebody has to take their car to the workshop. So they should do something about the roads. I always need to change my shocks every time. And I have to be taking my car for servicing all the time. Anytime I go, we need to change the shocks. It's very terrible. We want to sustain the community. Look at the number of people here. These are all middle class people paying substantial amounts in taxes. So we want to see some progress. Even if you take the main road itself, it's also a major area that we need to see progress. So for us, this is our concern and we are happy you are here. In fact, it's reached a point some residents have begun moving out of the area. It's, it's, it's very, very uncomfortable because you have to take your time and drive financially, emotionally, psychologically. It is affecting each and every one in this estate. And I tell you for a fact that people are relocating from this estate. Especially because of it, because just from the junction to the estate, you can take five minutes. But because of the road, you are likely to take 20 minutes to drive from here to the junction. The Joy News team met with a contractor working on the road. Eugene Hammond supervises works for Davem Construction Company. His firm has been working on this project for the past two years. But the worry is the money is yet to be paid, he says. But uh, we read uh, a certificate so that we can claim the money and continue the uh, road. But it seems financially, nothing were very difficult for us. That is why things are like that. Um, actually, uh, I can assure that at least by October, now we'll be able to do our touches, especially the concrete works. 
the petty petty ones, because we cannot put uh, bitumen on the road whilst the concrete work uh, is not completed. So I'm hoping that uh, finally uh, uh, it will be, uh, I may say, October. A good assurance, but one residents look forward to with a lot of skepticism. It's been like that over the years, and the sad aspect is that we know there's a contractor on the road, but this contractor comes in and just fix a bit of it and then goes, and nobody knows the timelines for facing this road. I think they don't care, we will not vote 2020. Yeah. We are not voting <laughs> in 2020. No, no vote. Vote. Yeah, no, we are not voting. No, 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 I mean. No, no politicians no, no, should no, come no, here. Yeah. No, no politicians no, no, should even come here to come and do campaign <laughs> because we are not going to vote. I mean, that, that, is what I, what, that is what I've decided to do. No politician should even come here to come and even campaign because when you come out, power turn on you. Hey. Yes. <laughs>